and to Natalie, <laughs> my wife, <laughs> Mrs. McLaughlin. <laughs> You look absolutely incredible right now. I feel the luckiest guy in the world. Uh, well, the truth is, I've been feeling like this since we became friends all those years, years ago on Bolton Market, as your dad said. Right from the beginning, I knew that Natalie was unique. Never felt this way or met anyone so passionate about her family before and her friends before. Over the first weeks and months, I came to discover that Natalie isn't just beautiful, she's also the most caring, thoughtful and kind person I'd ever met. She's got an energy and an enthusiasm for life that is just completely infectious. There's no mystery as to why she plays, she plays such an important part in all your lives. Um, she's genuinely loved by so many friends. I always knew that Natalie was the one I wanted to share my life with because she simply makes a life complete and I'm happier and far better person for having her in it. Us being together is the most important, fulfilling and joyful thing I could ever have wished for. So, these ladies here can we see so that's Kieran's grandma, and that's Natalie's grandma. So they were friends years and years and years ago, um, Sue and Rose. So my mum Sue and Kieran's grandma Rose were good friends. And she used to always say, oh my God, that family down the road, they're just beautiful, they're lovely. Irish Catholic family down the road. Wouldn't it be lovely if an Unsworth could marry a McLaughlin? And she said this years ago, and uh, her dream has come true. Natalie always says that I've been a rock, but let me tell you, Nats, you have been my rock. When your mother passed away, I, would, I couldn't have survived without you. You're the most beautifully kind, generous person I know. And you don't, you, you absolutely deserve this day. Absolutely deserve this day. That day in lockdown when you overlooked my occasional grumpiness and said yes, was the happiest day of my life. In that moment, I knew the most special person I had ever met was going to be a part of it forever. Natalie, I'm just so happy to be stood here today as your husband. Uh, <laughs> and I'm so excited for the adventures of married life we're about to begin together. I love you, Mrs. McLaughlin. Mother always said, the key to a good marriage, respect each other, always be happy, and if all else and everything's going wrong, put some music on. <laughs> Just music cures everything. 